Hi guys, welcome back to another do-it-yourself YouTube video. And today I'm going to show you how to cut a nice clean hole in a tile to put pipes through and things like that. This will work for shower valves, pipes, anything that you need to put through a porcelain or ceramic tile. And that's a nice little handy trick that's going to get some of you out of a muddle. So before we start, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I upload because there's loads of content coming to the channel. There's probably already some videos on there that are going to help you out. So go check them out below and make sure you give me a like if this video helps you out. Right, let's crack on. Right guys, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you'll know I always go through a list of tools you're going to need. So you'll need to grab yourself a combi drill, you'll need a tape measure, a tile marker pencil, and you'll need your chosen size of diamond tile cutters. Now if you're doing this job, you probably already know what size you need. Maybe if you're putting 15mm copper pipe for a tile, you might be using a 20mm. So I'll demonstrate this with a 20mm diamond tile cutter. And you'll need the matching size wood hull saw. So for our 20mm diamond cutter, you're going to need a 20mm wood hull saw as well. You'll also need the arbor to go inside that hull saw. Like so. And you're going to need a little pot of water to cool your diamond bit down as you're cutting the hole through the tile. Your cup of water doesn't have to have carrots on, it can have any design on it you want. And of course, you'll need your chosen tile. I'm gonna show you this on this little ceramic metro tile, but this will work on typically any of your ceramic or porcelain tiles. Obviously, if you're using something like a quartz tile, it's gonna be harder and it's gonna take longer to get that hole cutter through the tile. If this is your first time doing this, have a little test to make sure you know what you're doing before you do this on a tile that you actually want to use. Oh, and before we go any further, make sure you got yourself a nice brew at hand. 30, scary. Right, first job, find out where you want to put that hole in your tile. So let's say that we need to make a hole 10 centimeters in by five centimeters height. Grab your diamond hole saw, place that in the middle of where you made that mark. Put your finger on the top and just, just draw around it. Now the beauty of using one of these tile pencils is that we can actually rub that off if we need to. Okay, so now we're made on mark, you can see that we're going to make the exact size hole that we want to make in our tile so that we know we're going to get this in the right place and our pipe is going to be able to come through the right place. Right, next job, lay your tile to the side. Grab yourself a matching size wood hole saw. So this is a 20mm diamond hole cutter and we want to get a 20mm wood hole cutter. Make sure that they are exactly the same size. Next thing you want to do, grab yourself a scrap piece of wood, plies perfect for this, chipboard, anything like that. Anything we can lay on the top of our tile and we're going to put this through that piece of wood. There we go, we have a nice clean hole through that piece of wood. Right, we can lose the wood hole cutter now, and we'll replace that with our diamond cutter. Make sure it's in the drill properly. Make sure you've got your drill set to the slowest speed, and also make sure it's not on hammer or that'll crack the tile. Make sure it's just on drill. Right, grab all your tile. In some cases, you might be doing this on the wall. Normally when I do this job though, I'm doing it before I put the tile on the wall. So, have your water at the ready. Try not to spill it like I did. Um, we now have a guide. If you look here, this fits perfectly in our hole. Right, you want to start off nice and slowly. Use your guide. Make sure your guide is placed over the top of your tile on the mark that you made. Put lots of pressure on so that the guide that you've made doesn't move. Dip the hole cutter in some water to lubricate it. Start off nice and slowly and put lots of pressure on. And then every five seconds you should lubricate the hole cutter in the water. Thank you. 
Now we've broken through the top of the glaze, as you can see there, we can actually get that piece of wood out of the way so that we can see what we're doing. Carry on drilling straight through. Nearly, nearly dipped it in my tea. And you can see we've gone all the way through the tile and that cut is perfect. No damage to the face of the tile whatsoever. If you don't use the guide like we did there, what will happen is you'll just scuff up all the face of the tile and you won't get that perfect hole that we've made there. There's one more way you can do this, but it's not as accurate. I would recommend the first way, but this could get you out of a muddle. This one's called the slow tilt method. Just kidding, there's not really a name for it. But again, start off slow. Start off at an angle with your drill. And slowly start to tilt that drill bit up so that the drill is straight. And you can see we're now through the glaze. We can just carry on straight through the tile. And there you go, both methods work. I prefer the first one we did, it makes a neater finish. And that is how you put a hole through a tile to put pipes through. I would advise that you try and do this before you fit your tiles. There might be scenarios where you need to do this on the wall. If you do, just use that template on the wall and go slowly, because obviously when the tiles are already fitted, you don't want to go making any mistakes. So make sure you have a good practice before you go doing this up on the wall. So yeah, hopefully the video's helped you out. If this has done you a favor and helped you out, give me a like and make sure you subscribe because there's loads of useful content already on the channel or coming up in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, check out what I made.